Hey Diva Dolls, I'm coming to you fully quickly to do a tag video. Um, Victoria0402 tagged me with the struggle of a product, the struggle of a product junkie tag. So I'm here real quick at work. I'm taking a break. Instead of eating lunch, I am eating fruit. Okay, so um, I decided to go ahead and do this tag. I wanted to do it with my natural hair, um, but time permits, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Um, so I'm going to go through these questions that I wrote down real quick to get to answer them for you. Um, it says, the first question is, do you buy a majority of your hair products online or in the stores? I buy a, a lot of my products in the store because I actually like to see them. And um, I hate to admit it, but sometimes I open it up and I smell the product or I actually feel it because I want to be able to test what I'm putting in. Excuse me, y'all. I want to be able to test what I'm putting in my hair. Um, as you know, I just snatched and cut my hair off um, prior to the beginning of the year. Didn't want to bring any damage into the new year. So I have to share a video with you with my natural hair so you can see actually how, how much it's grown. And I'm surprised it's getting real thick and it's actually healthy. Um, the second question is, do you only buy hair products when they're on sale? Um... No, not necessarily, because if it's something I really, really want, I'll go ahead and get it, especially if it's something that I think will be good or if it's been referred by somebody else that's, you know, that they know that they use it and it's a good product. It doesn't have to be on sale. It just needs to be a good price. Um, the third one is, do you hide your products from your loved ones? Um, yeah, from my oldest daughter and from my youngest daughter. Um, my hubby, he's fine with not bothering my stuff because I don't touch his stuff. But my kids, um, my eight-year-old, she just wants to do what mommy does. And my oldest daughter, she claims, oh, that breaks me out. But when I come back to use it, um, she's opened up and used some. I haven't used it. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I hide some of my stuff. Um, does sales make you more pressured to buy? Um, I can say kind of, sort of. If it's something I've heard about and it's on sale, yeah, then I will go ahead and buy it. I don't feel pressured to, but it's more um, encouraging to get it when you can save a dollar because I'm a budget lady. Um, so the next question is, how much is too much for shipping? Anything over $6, I begin to weigh my options if I want to wait or go travel and spend $5 in gas and go further down to go get what I want somewhere else. If it's something I can only get online and I have to pay for the shipping, anything over 6 5 or $6, I'm just a little leery about. Um, but I have. I've actually paid 7 and 8 so it depends on how bad I want it. So I don't know. Anyway, it said the next question number six is name three YouTubers that influence your hair product purchases. One of them off the bat is you, Victoria. I, I a lot of times I was, I go through so many videos of so many people and it's hard to keep track. But the ones that I'm I communicate with and the ones that can commun communicate back, I can say off top you. Um, let's see who else. Jazzy Juju B. Um, uh, one hairy situation and also shorty d86 because those 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 divas are also natural and you are as well so I go off of what you guys say because I'm this is new to me so I'm actually learning as I go all right and uh, number seven is name three products um, three different products in three different categories that you, you can't live without well I can only name three products within the same category that I can't live without um, one is edge control um, because I wear a lot I mean I'm just a weave wig hair fanatic um, so I cannot go without my edge control um, I really flip because I have a widow's peak a little bit and I trip when I can't lay my edge down okay and then even when I don't have my units on I like edge control to to um, taper down the edges and the sides gotta have it gotta have it um, and then also I cannot live without my shea butter leave-in conditioner um, it's a jar and I don't have it with me like I said because I'm here at work but I will share another video later on down the road about the products that I do use and I have to have that because that makes your hair really really soft it's a leave-in conditioner and I love it um, 
you can buy it at your local roses. Um, so also the third item I would say would be my Moroccan Argan Oil. Um, I use that on my natural hair big time. Um, and I even use it on my synthetic wigs when they get a little dry and dull. So those three things I gotta have. I gotta have them. Um, so number eight, besides hair products, what are you a junkie of? Clothes. I I have to show you my room. I, I really need a house. I need a bigger house. I live in a condo. Um, I need a house. I need a water wall closet. Yeah, because I, I'm beginning to think I'm a damn hoarder. I don't know. Clothes. Anyway, uh, number nine, if you were stranded on an island, what product could you not live without? And uh, I would have to beat somebody ass for would be my edge control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need that. All right, number 10 is really officially the last question, which would be not really a question, but yeah, it is a question. Duh. Name three people that I would like to tag in this video. Um, I would like to tag Pure Eye Candy because she just chopped her hair off. I like to tag Miss Chocolate Star. Mm -hmm. She's natural. And also Renee 304. Yeah, boo, honey. I'm tagging you too. So I'm going to make sure that you know that you're being tagged. I want to um, hear about your natural hair because you do your damn thing with those honey wigs, boo. But um, I want to know about your natural hair. So if you don't know who Renee 304 is, to get your honey fly wig, you need to head on over to her channel. Mm -hmm. That's called spreading the love. Well, the last question was thrown in there. And um, pretty much I kind of said that with um, number nine, one that I would, a product that I couldn't live without and I beat somebody ass for. Yeah, she kind of threw that in there. Um, so I'm done. I wanted to make sure that I did this this tag because there's one other tag that I was tagged months and months ago by Pure Eye Candy, um, my makeup collection. So I haven't forgotten about her. I got to get that done too. But anyway, I wanted to take care of this tag and I've done it. Yes, thank you, Lord. So I pray that all is well with y'all. So if you're watching this video and you're a natural diva, tagging you. Talk to you later. Deuces.